Hello marketers, thanks for checking out another episode from How to Webmaster. My name is Leon and today I am reviewing WP Rocket. It is a WordPress plugin that will make your site load faster, quickly and easily. This is especially useful for people using WordPress on shared hosting environments. This can drastically improve your website speed without the need for upgrading your server hosting. So this can be an affordable solution to speeding up your site. And WP Rocket is known as the most powerful caching plugin by WordPress experts as they claim and the good thing about WP Rocket is minimal configurations with instant results and I'm gonna do a page speed test with Google page speed insights to see uh, if there's any significant improvement so first I'm going to test out my page speed test to see where my site is at right now so page speed insights by Google I'll leave the link in the description below this video so let's analyze my my site mymarketingdeals.com to see the current performance and then I'm going to use WP Rocket and activate it and see if there's anything improved with the page load and speed performance wise right now my mobile uh, speed score is about 28 which is quite low so anything above 90 to 100 is the ideal score that Google wants your site to be at so this is for the mobile score of 28 and for desktop I'm at a 62 so right in the middle close to the middle so now I'm going to activate WP Rocket okay so I just activated the WP Rocket plugin I simply upload it and activate it nothing special it's just a normal WordPress plugin so now it gave me this alert to add this code into my dub into my dot ht access file it's not required but it's recommended so I will go ahead and just add this quickly the dot ht access text file can be seen in your public HTML so here it is ht access and if it doesn't show up make sure you go to your settings if you're in the cPanel file manager you, you can go to settings and make sure you check this box show hidden files because sometimes the HT access is hidden and you may need to check that box so just click on edit and simply paste in your WP rocket recommendations so let's save change okay so let's go ahead and dismiss this notice now and to get to the WP Rocket settings you can go to the settings menu and look for WP Rocket okay it says WP Rocket is now activated and already working so my site should already be faster because it already apply 80% of the best options for my site so right now let's check out the page speed improvements just on the basic uh, activation of WP Rocket so I've opened up a new tab and now I'm going to analyze analyze my speed again and right away we see a big improvement I have now a score of 80 for desktop and 42 for mobile and the old score without WP Rocket was 62 for desktop and 28 for mobile so there is a major improvement already 
but let's go ahead and configure the other settings to see if it will increase this any further in our first set of options the cache so now let's look at mobile cache so let's check this so mobile cache works safest with both options enabled okay so I'll, I'll just go ahead and go through and check the things that will increase my site further so it seems like this uh, cache lifespan the default is 10 hours seems like a good number so I'll keep that as is okay now I'm in the file optimization I'll just go ahead and do check these basic settings so I'll do this minify so if there's an error then don't activate this I'll go ahead and activate it if I see any errors then I will deactivate it later okay I'll check that so I'll go ahead and check all these optimized CSS files and if there's any errors to my site I can easily uncheck these so JavaScript so same thing same warning okay save changes so for media options the lazy load it can improve actual and perceived loading time so this is when your images or iframe or videos will be loaded as the user or visitor enter the viewpoint so right when they're about to see these things then this uh, the media file will load up so it won't load up automatically until the visitor actually is about to see uh, the media file and I will check this since I do have some YouTube videos on this site okay disable this WordPress embed okay sounds good let's save change okay for preload I will leave this uh, activated as default I will skip this step with the sitemap base cache and if you guys need uh, help or more details about these options just simply click here it will lead to the knowledge base and provide more details about these particular options all right let's continue I don't have a prefetch DNS request so I will skip this part all right let's go to advanced rules I don't have any advanced rules to apply here so I'm going to skip this part as well let's go to database so with these options you can choose to clean up your post and comments and any transient data so these are temporary data that are generated by the plugins and database cleanup so let's optimize the table and you can also schedule this automatic cleanup which I will skip for now so let's optimize okay so it says up here the database optimization process is complete with these things optimized and then the next option is for content delivery network CDN and I don't have one so can't use that option heartbeat I don't have heartbeat API so I'm not gonna use that either okay for add-ons you can optimize your Google tracking if you have analytics you can go here and enable that so that it will improve the Google Analytics caching so that it helps with the page load and if you have Facebook pixel uh, on your site you can also improve that and varnish and these other things okay so let's now do image optimization it's actually another plugin that you have to install it's called Imagify or Image Giphy and it is a another plugin to compress your images so that it becomes uh, a smaller file size for this test 
Today, I want to test out WP Rocket as is rather than installing another plugin. So I will not do this image optimization. Okay, now the last option is tools. So here you can download and export your settings and import the settings or roll back to a previous version. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with the setup so far. So let's see how fast or let's see if there's any major improvements. Okay, I'm back at Page Speed Insights and now I will analyze my site with the new settings from WP Rocket. Okay, so here's the results. We have now a score of 90 for desktop and a mobile score of 39 which is actually quite surprising so we went from the basic WP rocket options and settings from desktop of 80 to a score of 90 and now for mobile we went from 42 to 39 so we decrease in the score by three points for mobile performance so without WP rocket we went from 28 for mobile performance to a score of 39 and for desktop we went from 62 which is without WP rocket to a score of 90 so a score of 90 puts you in the ideal range for your website speed which may help with your website rankings so WP rocket it's a premium plugin it's not cheap as of today it's about $49 for uh, the plugin okay so that's my test of WP rocket I approve I recommend it it's easy to use and it works let me know what you guys think leave a comment below this video please subscribe to how to webmaster for more internet marketing tips and tricks and more product reviews like this one. Thanks again and until next time, happy marketing.